Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about WAN 2.2. You may be thinking, what is it? And why are we talking about it? Why is it so important to this AI model space? Now, I'm gonna be covering all of these points today, and I'm gonna be doing it in a simplified format. So don't worry if you don't know any of these techie words or you're not deep into the AI model space, because I'm gonna be bringing it to you in a simple way so that you can all understand it. Anyways, let's get into what is WAN 2.2 and how we're gonna use it to enhance our images within this AI model space. So firstly, WAN 2.2 is a new type of generation that allows us to create images and also videos. It's mainly used for images, mainly because there's different and more updated video generation methods such as WAN 2.5, which you guys might have heard of, but WAN 2.2 is mainly for AI images. You may be thinking, what do you mean made for AI images? Is it like a generator? No, let me explain exactly what WAN 2.2 is. So you guys may have heard of something called Flux before. Now Flux is what we used to use to generate images before WAN 2.2 come along. WAN 2.2 is like an, an updated version of Flux. Now it's not a generator, it's a type of image generation. I'll explain to you in normal words. Think of houses. Flux is like the older generation method. It's like wood. Now WAN 2.2 is like brick. So housing companies, they can build houses out of bricks, you know, build house out of wood, whatever you want. You can build AR models out of whatever you want as well. But the wood is obviously the older stuff, which is Flux, and the WAN is the newer stuff like bricks. So we ideally wanna be using these bricks to make these houses. Now it doesn't matter what kind of company you go to to make this house with these bricks, which is obviously the generators, it matters what you're using. So if you typed in like WAN 2.2 generators online, it's not gonna come up with a generator that's called WAN because that's almost like the housing company. You just wanna use the bricks to build the house. You wanna use WAN 2.2 to build their models. So that brings us onto the next part. How are we gonna use WAN 2.2? If you are making AI images, a lot of the time you can do this on Comfy Workflows, which I obviously explain in later videos, so feel free to go have a look at Comfy. But Comfy Workflows using WAN 2.2 models and 2.2 LORAs is obviously gonna be a great way to generate advanced AI images, which is obviously what you guys want. You can obviously use Flux. Flux is still a great software to use and is a great type of AI image generation, but it's a little bit outdated. WAN 2.2 is kind of the updated the new stuff and you obviously want to stay updated in this fastest growing business model pretty much in the world so make sure that you're using wan 2.2 ideally on a comfy workflow if not you can find the generators online which most likely use wan 2.2 and if you are hiring a designer make sure that you they're using the up-to-date method of creation so now we understand what wan 2.2 is and how we're going to find it online now we want to talk about the difference between flux and obviously wan 2.2 we know Obviously, WAN 2.2 is the newer model, but why is that? Now, the first point that I wanna bring up is WAN 2.2 increases the probability of you getting the correct position that you wanted in your image. So let's say if we prompt something, let's say we prompt a blonde model sitting in a chair with her legs crossed or something like that. Now, WAN 2.2 has a higher probability of getting that correct when it generates the image in comparison to Flux. So that's the first thing, it saves you time on these kind of probability factors. Flux, you may have to generate two or three times to get that spot on. WAN 2.2, pretty much do it first time. So that's one point on why it is a lot better to use than Flux. Another reason is this realism within its skin. Realism within WAN 2.2, especially if you add a skin enhancer onto the images, is significantly better than Flux. Flux obviously had a good run, you know, it was two, three years old now, and it's done very, very well in terms of creating AI images. Hell, I've been using it for like two years now, so it's great. However, WAN 2.2 is the updated version and it looks a lot better. So I would recommend using that for more realistic skin. Get rid of that kind of plastic look on the models. Make it realistic and human-like. The third thing I would say is backgrounds. Backgrounds is a massive one. Flux always very much struggled with creating them realistic backgrounds. A lot of the times you would have to plug different lures in and stuff like that to be able to get these backgrounds in focus and good quality. Whereas WAN 2.2, fully integrated everything's good to go backgrounds are actually amazing so you can actually have your model lying in like a field or something and the grass will look realistic rather than being blurred out like you would normally have with the flux model so that's why wan 2.2 brings that realism and it kind of makes the image feel like it's popping out at you exactly what you want when it comes to creating ar models get them people's attention when you're marketing and then obviously the last thing that i would say is the correct body structure. Now this is the hands, the feet, the kind of general body as a whole is more likely to be better on WAN 
than it is when it comes to flux. A lot of the time, if you were to do a model taking a selfie in the mirror with their phone, the phone's gonna be wonky, the hand's gonna have three fingers. You know, it's it does do a good job every now and then, but once again, once every five or six generations. WAN 2.2 is pretty much spot on every single time. It's a very, very impressive model, and you guys definitely do want to be jumping on it as soon as possible, because I am very impressed with what I've been generating so far. So these are the main reasons I would definitely be using WAN over Flux. However, WAN also creates videos, which is great. Flux doesn't really do this. Flux would normally use some sort of other video generation like Kling or whatever to be able to make them videos move. However, WAN does. WAN 2.1 was the older model. WAN 2.2 is the newer model. And 2.5 is the most up-to-date, which is very, very impressive. So let's talk through them. 2.1, quite old. You know, that's been around for a while now. 2.2 is very good. So this is WAN 2.2 AI video generation. That's very good. However, it does not have speech included. So if you want the model to talk, that won't happen. However, WAN 2.5 has movement, which is almost perfect, and as well speech, which is very, very good. So that means you can combine the two, get them hyper-realistic videos while maintaining good structure on the AI model and listening to prompts very well with WAN 2.5. However, a lot of the time WAN 2.5 doesn't have movement LoRa's, but WAN 2.2 does. Now, movement LoRa's is basically where you attach a LoRa, which if you guys don't know what that is, then obviously go back and watch my videos on definitions. But you attach a LoRa to this AI generator, as well as WAN 2.2, and as well as your prompt and your image. And then it's going to be able to guide the video more accurately into getting the correct movement. So if I have like a movement lore of me dancing or a model dancing or a famous like TikTok trend, then I can plug that movement lore. I can prompt exactly what is going on within this video and then press generate. And it's a lot more likely to get that movement correct because of the lore that's attached to WAN 2.2 which is very, very important, especially when it comes to the not safe for work stuff within AI OFM business model, if you guys are looking at doing that. If you're looking to more mainstream stuff, then still movement lawyers can work very, very well when it comes to any kind of marketing or potential like presentation or B-roll that you may need within certain adverts or whatever you guys are doing. So this is why WAN 2.2 is very powerful when it comes to image generation and also video generation because they're movement lures and also the enhanced AI image generation. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about today in this episode. If you guys do have any more questions, feel free to let me know. But overall, you guys should be using WAN 2.2 instead of Flux, it's the new updated version. If you guys are generating AI videos, WAN 2.2 or 2.5 is a very good method of generating these, these videos. And obviously, if you want comparisons with other things such as VEO3 or Sora, then feel free to keep an eye on my channel, like, subscribe, all of that jazz, because I'll be comparing them in later videos as well. But overall, hopefully you guys now understand what WAN 2.2 is, and you can then apply that to your generation methods to allow you to then obviously create better images and enhance yourself within the space. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.